guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome to my channel I've had quite a whoa I have had quite a few new subscribers lately so let me introduce myself I'm Danielle you're on the Danny Loons channel on here we talk about makeup we talk about tutorials, we do DIYs, we talk about recipes, expectations versus reality. Um, I started this channel making it like a beauty channel, but I've kind of realized that I like the lifestyle type of channel as well, so I want to do both. Maybe one day I'll have a beauty channel and then a lifestyle channel, but for right now it's all here. So, if you are new, thanks for joining us. Comment down below so we can all say hi to each other. And let's get into the video. So, a while back, someone had suggested that I did my top five and... No, just my top five. My top five favorite foundations and my top five favorite mascaras. So, I am going to make this a two-parter and... If you want to see the favorite to mascaras, because this was going to be foundations, as you probably knew by the title, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up so I know that you want to see the next part of this video as well. But without further ado, let's get into me talking about my top five favorite foundations. Okay, so this first one is Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I am in the shade Light Medium Beige. I love this foundation for a couple of reasons. Since it's a water foundation, it is a little bit lighter and it doesn't give as much coverage, but it still gives you good coverage. And I like that for my more natural days. And since it's watery, it's not as cakey. Um, if you apply too much, it'll be cakey, but if you apply the right amount, then it's not cakey and it's super awesome. This is a really pretty shade and the bottle is gorgeous. So it has this nice like glass bottle and this has this cute little ombre thing. The only thing I'm not a super huge fan about is the fact that it is a drop, drop? It is a dropper foundation. I prefer a pump. That's just me because I don't really like putting drops on my face because I'm just not good enough for that. <laughs> but that is one of my very, very favorite foundations. All of these really are. There's two that are ahead of the game. But yeah, so I'm not going to say, oh yeah, that's one of my favorite foundations because clearly that's what this video is about. And you guys will get annoyed with me saying that. The next one is this Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Foundation. I am in the shade R260. This foundation holds a very special place in my heart. It was the first high-end foundation that I bought. Kind of is has been along with me in this journey. I don't use it as much as I used to just because I have other foundations to, you know, pull from. But this one in the beginning was one of the only foundations that I would use. It's really good for sensitive skin. It's beautiful, flawless finish, doesn't oxidize on me at all. I love this stuff. It's expensive, but I love it. This next foundation is actually the very first foundation that I ever bought. So <laughs> this one holds just as much of a good place in my heart as well, but it is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I am in the shade, um, oh, Ivory, 115 Ivory. Now, the finish on this foundation is gorgeous. It is hands down flawless and beautiful, and that's why I still use it from time to time. However, it does break me out. I have sensitive skin. This foundation is what kind of made me realize that I have sensitive skin or whatever is in here I'm sensitive to because I don't really have very many other foundations that break me out. It's not a good thing to do, but kind of how I test that is I'll fall asleep with it on, and if I wake up the next day with a new zit, then I know that it was the foundation. Um, also, sometimes foundations, not this one in particular, it kind of depends on the day and the time of the month, but there are way times that I would put this on in the beginning of the day, and by the end of the day, I would have some new blemishes pop up, but I still use this from time to time just because it is so freaking pretty after you're done. But also when I'm doing tutorials and I don't feel like using my expensive foundations, then I'll use this one so I don't feel like I'm wasting it because sometimes I'll put on makeup and then take it off. 
that's what I would do at the beginning of my channel. Um, it's changed a little bit since then, but I still love this. Gorgeous finish. I love it. This one is probably my second most favorite foundation, but this one, number two, is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach and sweet fake cream. No, so this is oil-free. It says 14-hour wear. I believe that. It lasts pretty long. Um, oil controlling, photo-friendly, which means there isn't going to be a lot of flashback because there's no sunscreen or anything in it. I am in the shade Light Beige. This stuff, I mean, this stuff though, I don't have a lot of Too Faced things. There for a while, they were not treating um, some people that they did collapse with pretty well. So I just stopped buying their things for it, but then I was like, it's none of my business. I'm just here to test the makeup out. So I bought this because I heard awesome things about it and I wanted to try it myself. It smells incredible. I don't really know, you know, what sweet figs and that has to do with peach, but it smells good. This is a gorgeous finish, pretty effortless, really good coverage. This stuff is amazing. I love it. I love it. But hands down, my top favorite foundation is the Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani foundation. I am in the shade 4.5 and this stuff is gorgeous. It is what I have on today, and I cannot have enough of it. This stuff, it isn't um, as full coverage as I would like, but what I did today, and you can't really see all the time, you can't really see any of the redness peeking through. I put on the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and then I put this on on top of it, and it mixes beautifully. It mixes very well with all of my concealers. It lasts all day. It is so comfortable. Like, I don't feel like I have foundation on. That's how comfortable it is. It doesn't make my skin greasy. It doesn't break me out in any sort of way. It's expensive. This is the most expensive one I have. Well... Not technically because I bought the small one, but like, if I were to be, buy the big one. But I will definitely repurchase this. I'll definitely repurchase this one. I'll probably repurchase like all of these. Probably not the Maybelline one. But this one, this is my ride or die favorite foundation of all time. I love it so much. And that's everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if any of these foundations are your favorite, leave me a comment down below or tell me one of your favorite foundations so I can test that out as well. I already asked you to give this video a thumbs up, so I'm not going to do it again, but please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and you can hit that little notification bell so it can tell you every single time that I post. Make sure that you hit that because sometimes YouTube unhits it. I'm Mimi. I don't know if unhits it is the right word, but you know what I mean. Follow me on all of my social media. The links to them are in the description box down below, and they are on the screen now. And that's everything. Bye, guys. Bye.